And welcome, 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 welcome to ASMR Reiki Reviews. This is DeAndre Reviews, 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 DeAndre Reviews. And today's Reiki session is dedicated to healing the past, healing traumas, and it's about only murders in the building, Mabel. Season two has like totally, totally rocked. I think that it's so hard as a series to be consistently good and kind of level up. There's always that one season we don't like, or there's always like that, you know, I, I stay because I like you, but I'm hoping that by season three, you kind of like yourself more and get a little bit of a path. So we're gonna do some cord cutting with some rainforest jasper. It's all about grounding yourself. And I think that, you know, healing abandonment, I wanna dedicate this Reiki to that because that's what you kind of feel with Mabel. So I'm gonna pluck out. Selena Gomez is so good this season as Mabel and only murders in the building season two has kind of allowed itself as a comedy to embrace seriousness. I think that season one dabbled a little bit, like it didn't mind as, as a series to give you these moments of, no, this is sad. No, this is, harsh and this is cruel and this is death um and i felt like season two so far and towards the ending which i got today um is kind of a balancing act it kind of allows for more seriousness and even more silliness to balance itself. But where last season it was all about, let's be funny, let's be goofy. Let's kind of have a, a nice pun on true crime lovers. I felt like season two was all about healing the abandonment that all these characters have felt, particularly Mabel. And Steve Martin and Martin Short, they're absolutely fantastic. And their characters also have these journeys of kind of realizing that not only their true crime fascination, but how they embrace life is all based off of their abandonment issues, of their abandonment issues with parents, with family members, with people that they absolutely for a time built a life with, and then one day just weren't there or weren't there when they needed them or they found out through time that they had their own issues, they had their own secrets. And it's very strange and I've seen it even in my own family, something that we often do when we have a parent that was very abandoning or a family member that we, though we absolutely adored them, there was just something about finding out, we see in perspective that they weren't perfect, that they had their issues, that maybe they didn't always treat us well. And maybe they weren't as light as we recall them but in trying to protect the love we have for them, we ignore their flaws and in turn, we make ourselves the flawed ones. And I think that part of why Mabel's journey in particular is so intriguing is because she's a character that forever, you know, moody, oh, that was a long one, moody and snarky she is, and however hard and tough she appears, there's an insecurity to her. There's a fear, a fear to love, a fear to lose that love, a fear that no matter how hard I try to stop to be loving, no matter how hard I try to stop myself from investing in love, somehow I keep on caring. 
somehow I still want everybody to be okay. Even though I feel like nobody cares about me. And I chose her character, maybe I should call this Mabel Reiki, because I think that that is a truth for a lot of people, that a lot of people feel like that. And the th interesting thing about Mabel is part of why she feels extra lonely, extra depressed, is that she doesn't do what a lot of us do, which is, I'm just gonna kind of wipe through your aura with the um, reinforced Jasper after cutting some negative cords. She doesn't lie about the people that she loved. She doesn't make them saints after they're gone. And it's a coping mechanism that we use, but it's not a healing one. And sometimes for a lot of us, coping is all we can do. We can't close the wound. We can't heal the wound. We can't carry the wound. We don't know how. So we kind of just band-aid it and keep on putting a million band-aids on it until one day we, it just either explodes or we need surgery or it's so numb that we forget that it's there, but it still oddly shows up in how we treat others and how we treat ourselves. And I think that Mabel's kind of descent into depression and self-confrontation and self-analysis this season has been because she doesn't cope and that makes forces her to heal. But healing is long, it's ugly, and it's not always clear cut. And you can close a wound and have it be reopened a million times again. And I feel like this season, the friendship between Selena Gomez, Steve Martin, and Martin Short, all their characters, I think their friendship is not only stronger and more endearing, but it's healing. And it's three people that are growing together. And that's the seriousness, but also the lightness of this series, especially in season two. These are three people that really, really like each other, that all know what it is to be left behind and have chosen to stick by each other no matter what. And although this, there are true crime puns, Tina Fey's in it and Amy Schumer is as well, um, you know, making fun of true crime lovers and the lengths people will go to be podcast popular. Um, I felt like this season was really about trying to figure out whether our attraction to darkness, to toxic relationships, particularly with ourselves, stem from the relationships of our past, the relationships in particular with our family. So I really, really want to heal your abandonment and I want you to watch this video a thousand times again for views, but also whenever you're feeling down or whenever you're feeling abandoned and you need to remember that kind of your inner Mabel, there comes a time when you can't just cope. There comes a time when you can't just put a bandaid. You shouldn't put a bandaid. You have to love yourself. And um, I hope that you accept and you embrace that healing is ugly, healing is weird, healing is messy, but strength often is. Bravery, strength, resilience, these are virtues, but they're born from ugliness, from war. They're born from the fire. So even though that they're, they're light, they're born, they're born from burning, burning your relationships with the past, your toxicity. So you have to be brave. And brave means learning how to carry fear, learning how to carry pain. So be a Mabel in this world. Yeah. And check out deandrewreasonall.com for more reviews. And I hope you enjoy that quick Reiki session for healing abandonment. Yeah. All under nine minutes. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. See you.